Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them out of bite-sized pieces. Today, hope. Hope for this market and hope because of things that are maturing, including these two gentlemen. And this was a interview that was done with uh, Vitalik Buterin and Hoskinson actually came on and did a rebuttal to the things that uh, Vitalik said. And it's fascinating because it gives me hope that uh, we all as a market are getting exactly where we should be, which is maturation. So we'll take a look at what's going on there. On top of the fact that Google announces new policy for cryptocurrency ads. And at first glance, I was pretty concerned about this, but uh, I think they actually made the right choice, uh, which is uh, a little bit surprising considering that they let all the scam ads through on YouTube. And then finally, we'll uh, just briefly uh, talk about this guy and also the uh, Bitcoin uh, convention, which is going on in Miami, which you can watch uh, via live stream right after this video. So we'll take a look at all those things. But first, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So right now, we're at 1.65 trillion. Pretty good. A little bit of a dip. Uh, it is, uh, God, what is June 4th? It's uh, roughly 1.40 p.m. I'm in Houston. We're dealing with <laughs> more problems with the investment properties and uh, just doing some uh, demo, some renovations and things like that. And these are the things that happen. Uh, when you get into uh, other types of assets. Sometimes it's a real pain, just like crypto, and sometimes it's a, it's a great thing, but uh, gotta go with those growing pains just to get where you wanna go. Anyhow, this is what we got as far as coins. Just so you know, we've got uh, Bitcoin still at 37. It's pretty good. Ethereum 2.7. I like that. Uh, $2,700. Binance Coin is number four. Cardano, $1.74. Doge, 38 cents up because of listings and uh, some other stuff. So really, I don't really care about this. But uh, that's what's going on in the market. So And then also, we're using Trade the Chain, Sentiment Analysis, if you want to check that out. Click on the projected range. Let's see what's going up. If you're a big trader, I am not, as uh, you can tell. Uh, look at Curve, GoChain, Seller Network, Storage, and Dent. Huh. And these are the, uh, with 90% assurance, where they're going in the next uh, hour or so. Anyhow, that's what's going on in the market. Let's get to the good stuff, right? So the good stuff, I feel this is the good stuff. Um, when I got in 2017, it was weird. It was just a weird time. And it's kind of like, uh, I had this, uh, this uh, parallel, which I, I commented on, on Twitter, this analogy, which was like, you know how... Uh, people, there's like a streaming service of uh, Netflix, then you have it over at Disney, and then you have it on Amazon Prime. And when I got in 2017, everybody hated everybody. I mean, there's still, there's still some hates, uh, some trolls. I think it's a little bit less now. But it was almost as ridiculous to me as someone was going, hey, uh, you know, Netflix is doing great as far as uh, streaming. And then someone would come up like, you're a moron because Disney Plus has all the Marvel movies. And then someone else would be like, hey, we got Amazon. And you're so stupid because we've got uh, Amazon, the Amazon Web Service, and everything else. And they're going to knock out Netflix and... Uh, <laughs> And, and Disney Plus, which if you think about it, sounds pretty ridiculous. And it's the exact same thing we're going through as far as crypto and digital assets. I think there's a lot of room for everybody to, to get in where they fit in. And uh, this is no exception. And I think Cardano and Ethereum are going to do great. The thing is, is that uh, there was a little bit of a, a beef between, not beef, I wouldn't say that, uh, misinterpretation we'll say that between charles and uh, and vitalik and vitalik was on the lex friedman show and he just said look uh they're doing some pretty interesting things over at iohk they just take a different approach than us and they do a lot of things as far as like research based but uh that is them and 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 this is us and just like i always talk about uh my goals are not your goals your goals are not my goals everybody's different and uh they just take a different approach and that's pretty much the extent of it i didn't really think too much of it this was uh i'll link this in the description below this is uh lex friedman clips until uh this this little piece came out here where he where Charles Hoskinson did a rebuttal. And I was like, ooh, this ought to be good because Charles likes to get all fired up. But uh, he was very cordial and it was like two adults talking. It was amazing. And, uh, you know, he says, hey, we have a little bit different, but he says Ethereum is one of the greatest innovations uh, that is out there. And he says in the video, he points that Vitalik Buterin has grown up to become more of a leader and confident over the years. He said Ethereum is better than Bitcoin because it was the thing that gave everybody in the industry the ability to dream. Vitalik is very different from Vitalik I had known previously. He said, he goes, he's matured, looks older. He's got a lot more of a leader and confident. I think we have both grown a bit. We met each other when we were both quite young in my mid twenties and he was like 19 years old. And then he just goes on to say that it's pretty amazing that, you know, that the foundation could actually bring in $300 billion and then 
uh, you know, be do a lot of different things as far as like stable coins, talk to different countries, uh, just really move and push everything forward on Ethereum. Now, he still, you know, talks about how Cardano he thinks is better, but it is very cordial in how they act, how they talk. And this is what gives me hope uh, for this space. Just like we were, we have to mature, we have to not uh, spread FUD, and we, we have to actually be a little bit... Um, understanding of everybody's uh, opinions that uh, it's good for these things to happen and for me I, again i've always thought of it like this i've always seen charles and vitalik as kind of like um bill and steve they you know steve jobs from apple and bill gates from microsoft they had this love hate relationship but over time they grew to appreciate each other because they realized that uh, because of this competition, it drove them to greater heights. So if you're an investor in Ethereum, you're an investor in Cardano, I personally am both, I think it uh, behooves you to to let these guys have, have this rivalry to push everything to, again, those greater heights to see what it actually can do. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And uh, this was... I. Uh, it was a great day. Uh, I like to see these types of things. Anyhow, that's what's going on there. And then also, um, again, Cardano, their ecosystem is getting fleshed out. Uh, things are being built on Cardano. They are behind on Ethereum as far as like developers and smart, uh, smart contracts, which will be which will come in August. But I've already talked to um, the Oracle, um, the Oracle service on built on Cardano called Charlie, and also for synthetic assets on the Indigo protocol. You can find those over at Digital Asset News Clips. I try to separate things from Dan, which is just the basics in the news, to Dan Clips, which is more of the advanced things and things that are going on. So go ahead and check that out. I've also got an interview lined up um, with Card Starter, which will be next Thursday or so. I've got the CEOO coming on, and uh, we'll be talking to a lot of different uh, Cardano uh, players on the ecosystem. So check those out, link those in the description, and that is it. Let's move on to our next piece. So Google, Google and YouTube, uh, let's be honest. If you clicked on this video, probably a good chance that you saw a scam ad, <laughs> just how it is. And they kind of go in cycles. Sometimes it's like all over the place, sometimes it's not uh, a big deal. Uh, and But now, uh, this is what concerns me because Google announces that they're going to allow cryptocurrency ads uh, on on the Google platform. So that could be great as far as uh, Google AdWords. You know, when you do a search, there's like a little you know little snippet comes up. You know, also check this out. So when I saw this, I'm like, geez, this is going to be awful because now what we're going to see is just a bunch of of uh, scammers coming out and going, yeah, we did that. Yeah, you can trust us. But they did the right thing, and I'm going to tell you why. So Google, they just came out a couple of days ago or yesterday, and says um, they state this policy, this new policy, will apply globally to all accounts that advertise these financial products as far as cryptocurrency and digital assets. Google updates its existing financial products and services policy in August. So August 3rd, advertisers offering cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets targeting the United States may advertise those products and services when they meet the following requirements and certified by Google. So I'm like, well, you did a poor job on YouTube, so let's see how you do on this one. First, they must be registered with Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN. That's great because I'm pretty sure the ads that you see on YouTube are not certified and registered with FinCEN. Alternatively, the advertisers can be can also be a federal or state chartered bank entity. Again, pretty sure that's the same thing. So great, good job, Google. You did. You figured out that uh, the things that you were doing as far as like the scams and you know people getting scammed out of billions of dollars, it's billions, uh, was not the right approach for YouTube. So good one on you guys, tip of the hat. Uh, and they state to finish up, they ensure their ads and landing pages comply with all the Google ad policies. Uh, all prior crypto exchange certifications will be revoked on August 3rd. Advertisers must request a new crypto exchange. So again, you're just going to see this for wallets and cryptocurrency exchanges. You're not going to see this for ICOs. You're not going to see this for individual products. But as far as those, hey, this is also positive news. And this is just one more thing to get it in the public consciousness. I think this is good news. Let me know where I may have missed something in the comments below. And let's move on to our eh, second to last piece, we'll say. So, uh, oh, first of all, there's a great thing going on in Miami. Great thing. Little Bitcoin conference. And man, I got to tell you, uh, I will never miss one of those again. 
I just kind of screwed up in the planning. That's on me. But uh, I think in all honesty, uh, moving forward, I will definitely go to all these because uh, I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal and it is. And uh, so anyhow, you can watch it uh, live through Bitcoin Magazine. I will uh, link that in the description. And they got, they've already had some great, they've had the the Winklevi, the Winklevoss twins. They've already had Michael Saylor on. They've already had uh, uh, Max Kaiser, who was interviewing Michael Saylor. And uh, I think they had Jack Dorsey on as well. So and there's a lot of great things going on there. So I will link it. You can watch it. And everybody who's everybody is pretty much there. Uh, I'm nobody. I'm just some guy on a channel. But uh, all the big guys are there. So I don't think they're going to see much of a pump. But I think as everybody congregates and talks about how great it is and it reinforces their beliefs and they kind of they're in a dome of security of FUD let's be honest because it's just nothing but good news and good news and good news and good news before you know it it pumps you up once this concludes over the next weeks months I think this could be a good catalyst moving forward because it's not about the messages that, that people hear but it's the connections that people make it's not what you know it's who you know and there's a lot of people that are going to be connected to really bring this forth i think this is big let me know what you think but honestly i think it's a pretty good deal and lastly i'm just going to talk about this very briefly i didn't want to cover this whatsoever so this guy uh he's the ceo of tesla and uh spacex and um look He's going to tweet. He's going to talk about these things. He's going to talk about Dogecoin. He's going to talk about Bitcoin. But in all honesty, it shouldn't matter. It's not one person's opinion. Uh, I really don't care. And uh, yes, this will move the market a little bit. But I think people are putting too much uh, stock into what this guy says. And then once he says something, then they're like, okay, well, disregard fundamentals because, you know, who needs those? And let's just start to uh, dump a little Bitcoin because we think this other guy's going to dump Bitcoin. And then the second guy or second gal is like, I think they're going to dump Bitcoin, so I'm going to dump Bitcoin. And it's just a chain effect. And it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It, it really does absolutely nothing uh, for us. So um, if as he tweets, I'm just going to ask you right now just to drop him. Uh, because in all honesty, I mean, nothing good comes out of out of these tweets it just is un it just destabilizes the market and uh i'm gonna make a promise to you uh until this guy comes around and uh starts to be a little bit more inclusive and doesn't uh, screw around with with what is going on because i personally believe this guy's cost a lot of money to a lot of people for panic sellers in the long run it shouldn't be a big thing if you can deal with the turbulence but uh i just can't I, I can't get behind this so this is the last time i'll talk about this guy and i'm going to ask you to drop him uh, as far as uh on, on twitter because it does me no good this, and, and it's the same thing i talked about another guy who's a gold bug i don't say his name on this channel either because uh th th it does me no good uh, whatsoever i see where things are going i don't need, i don't need these these two yahoos uh in, in any way shape or form and that's just my personal opinion and that's it so uh that's it for today so first of all if you made us far thanks for uh sticking with me i appreciate it uh like the video subscribe all that good stuff uh, i will link these uh videos in the description and that's it for today thanks so much see you on the next one